Hey guys, my name is Ripon Dutta. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to a school server using edu.net and vb.net. First of all, I want to make an application using Visual Basic Windows Forms application. Then I'm gonna give this application name SQL Server Connection. Then press OK. All right. Now I want to take a data grid view in the form. In the data grid view, I want to show the data from SQL Server. Then I need a button for updating the data. So, first of all, I want to give this form text SQL server database connection then I want to give this data grid view name data grid employee EMP then button should be update and text should be update okay so in this application i need to add two namespaces one is um system import system dot data second one is imports system dot data dot sql client okay now I need to make a table in the database so I am going to the SQL server databases HRIS I am now creating a table employee table simple employee table so first one is employee ID I am going to give this ID as an integer and it's a primary key secondly I want to give this um, first name Bircher Bircher 15 last name Bircher 15 email Bircher 25 phone Bircher 25 and give this uh, table name employee all right our table is created now going to the application and I am going to create a table uh, database connection so first I need a connection string private connection string as new SQL connection here I have to give the connection string so if you don't know the connection string you can build it from here so you have to go to toolbox and you have to find a SQL server SQL connection if you don't have this tool you can right click in the toolbox then click switch it in this toolbox yeah, you can filter SQL connection so check it ok now you have to drag and drop in the application form now I am going to this properties SQL server con SQL connection properties connection string drop down click new connection here I have to give the server name it can be local server or remote server in this case I am using my local server name BSC user name as a password then selecting the database HRIS test connection succeeded 
okay this is the connection string so copy it and paste it here make sure you have added your password my password is vsc okay now i'm going to create a data adapter private das new sql data adapter in this case first parameter is um, i have to give the sql query so select a star from employee second parameter is connection string cs this cs okay then i need to declare a data set private ds as new data set and finally i need another variable cmb command builder as new sql command builder and you have to give here data adapter okay we can zoom it so you can easily look at 120 percent or 130 percent okay in the form load event i want to set try and catch block message if there is any error arises i will message will be shown okay so first of all i wanna um, i wanna fill the data set from the data adapter so data adapter fill um this is data set then second parameter is table table name and now i need to uh, bind with uh, data grid data source equal to data set tables which table employee table okay we can now check it all right it is now connected there is no error this table is now blank so uh, this data grid is now blank okay so we can test it by putting some value edit employee id for example 101 one. first name george last name harrison email dot com phone blah 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 okay now we can run it yes data is coming okay now we need to add another functionality update button so we will add we will add the value here for example will smith 102 password uh, sorry phone number this one and if we click the update button database will be updated okay so how do we do it we have to go to the update button under the update button we have to first we want to add the try and catch block message okay so first of all data adapter update command equal to command builder get um update command then data adapter update first parameter is 
data set tables which table employee table and another bracket that's all so we can update 102 will smith phone number update so how can we check it go to the SQL table select approach yes this is updated in this case we can add a message box so we can easily get it so first of all I wanna add a variable dim x as integer integer so x equal to data that update now if I set a message box and show x x records updated okay so click the start I wanna give another value for example John senior email.com and phone number this one one record updated now I wanna um, I wanna give another one 104 George Michael phone number this one and I wanna change this email Smith update two records updated one is this new record another one is this email field so we can easily get it how many records we have updated that's all if you have any question please comment in the comment box and if you like this tutorial please subscribe this channel so you'll get more video tutorials and till then bye bye